Hey everybody, it is the Angry Honey Badger here, and today we are going to be taking a look at the interface and graphical settings that you might want to consider using um, when you're playing League of Legends. I think this is actually something fairly important that a lot of people overlook, so we're going to take a look at it quick and talk about what you might and what you might not want for your settings. Currently, we're just sitting in a uh, in a customs game. This is the game at almost maxed out, roughly. I think we will look into this, but we're going to talk about the settings, what each of them do, and how they are important. So press escape, open your options, obviously go under video. The first thing we want to talk about for sure is resolution. Make sure the resolution for the game you have is set up to what the monitor resolution you have going to. When it comes to windowed mode versus borderless versus full screen, this is a preference for you. I play borderless, so I can tab out and the game is still there, it doesn't tab away. So that's what borderless does. I also play in colorblind mode, but that's mostly for videos, so if I have any colorblind users, which I do, um, then they can see the game all fun and dandy without bad color issues. So I'm just used to it, I've been playing that way for a long time. Now, when it comes to the actual graphics settings, there's one major point I want to make. It is to make sure you have them set so the game's not the prettiest, but so it runs the best. And the reasoning behind this is you don't want any unfortunate frame rate drops when you're in the middle of a giant team fight. It causes you to get hiccup lag, and then you tend to not cast your abilities, or they go in the wrong direction, or all types of issues. It's just not a win-win. It's very bad. So we are going to make sure that we do this correctly. So the few things we're going to talk about are character quality, and effects, and environment, and shadows. Now, character quality... This doesn't really make any kind of difference on gameplay, typically. So set this where you want. I usually go with high. I can run the game maxed out with everything on, but there's no point. No need. Right now, we're sitting at 108 frames just with the menu open. Um, but I just have everything set to this, typically. This is my settings. But we're going to talk about why or why not. I like the environment high. It's because it's pretty yay. Shadows, honestly, shadows are pretty taxing on video cards and on systems, surprisingly. If you don't know, playing with them completely off no big deal. In fact, I actually recommend this most of the time because then your computer doesn't have to worry about rendering them and you're not going to notice when there aren't shadows. You only notice when shadows look bad most of the time. So um, playing with your shadows off is a good way to get yourself some extra frames. Now effects, this is one of the ones that you might want to have at least a little bit in because the effects will look quite different and recognizing them can also be quite different um, depending on what side or, uh, you are, whether you're receiving them or sending them out at enemy champions. So um, some on some champions' abilities, Having it set to very low, you're going to miss seeing things come at you. Not completely. They still are there, but it, they seem less pronounced. I've played on very low to see what it's like, and I didn't like it as much. Very high, there's probably a little bit too much actually going on. You don't need to see all of that, and it can actually be a little bit of a distraction on some games. Um, so playing just at high or medium is actually probably a good place to be. So that, like I said, this is where I run, but it's only because we want to run above 60 frames a second. I know some people are forced to play the game at below that or they're playing at 30, try to at least get 30. But if you are dipping into the 20s, change your settings around for sure so it's a lot easier on your system because it's going to honestly, it's going to benefit you a lot better in the long run. Um, for your frame rate cap, you can cap it off at a certain point if you want. If you just leave it uncapped, then you can see what it's doing all the time. Um, two other things I want to talk about are anti-aliasing and waiting for vertical sync. Now, waiting for vertical sync, if we click this and hit OK, it is going to, to it's going to actually just lock us at 60 frames a second the other problem with vertical sync and this was a bigger problem uh previously in league um it's better nowadays but it still has some issues some people will get slight As click delay wish. lag with vertical sync on depending on your drivers and your graphics card and your computer um I tend, i'm not getting it right now but i typically just play with this off so it doesn't cap me and i don't get microscopic click delay lag it is actually really annoying and um this may like it even says increases image stability at the cost of performance so Make sure you have this off, especially if you have a computer that doesn't want to run the game at a lot of frames anyway. So take that off. Anti-alias. Now, what happens here? It improves the visual quality by reducing um, jaggedness. This may lower performance. This one, whenever I flip it on, I don't ever notice lowered performance. 
typically. See, we're still up here in the hundreds, but I don't actually notice a difference anyways. So typically, I don't usually run with it on, but this one seems to be less intrusive, at least on my PC. Try out all the all of the things anyways on your PC to see what works and what doesn't work. If you are playing on a laptop, I would take both of these off. I would try to actually lock your frames at 60 if you can, and then I would take everything to whatever you can to get it to lock at 60. Characters down to medium or low, take your environment down to medium or low, take your effects down to medium, take your shadows completely off. Play with a custom setting on the graphics, so, um, because it's just gonna run better. You're gonna land more skill shots if you don't have that hiccup or the delay or the lag. Anti-alias can help with this a little bit, but, uh, or vertical sync, but like I said, if it's at the expense of the frames themselves, it's not gonna help you out. So those are some points I think a lot of people need to look into. Now, when it comes to the rest of your interface, the actual interface, let's talk about this too. A um, few things I do with mine. Take your HUD, make it whatever size you want. Uh, chat I have set at 40, I don't need it to be too big. It's over here, you can see it. And then for your HUD scale, I'm at 57. I don't know where the game sets you. Um, I, some people really like huge mini maps. I don't like huge mini maps. Um, I can see that I have a nice monitor. It's not a tiny monitor, so it's already big. And I'm close to the screen anyways. Um, for the rest of things that you want clicked on or off, this is a personal preference for sure. Have certain alerts for all types of things on or off. This is, like I said, a personal preference. You can switch your mini map to the other side if you're used to playing Dota or something. That just looks really weird to me though. Um, disable HUD spell check. Nice, didn't even know that was in there. Um, one thing I have off is actually show summoner's names. Um, it's mostly because I don't need extra nonsense above my name. I know my name, I see it most of the game. I don't need to know other people's names. So uh, it's just actually kind of in the way. It helps you see other health bars easily and minion health easier um, instead of enemy health if you are uh, in lane and you wanna see us. So I turn that off, It's it don't need it on to be honest. So look through the rest of your uh, your settings, show timestamps, have these on in chat. Um, same thing here, over all over there. Text, I turn my experience off because it's annoying, I don't want to see it. And uh, because I don't need to see my little experience popping up next to me, it's just once again more visual clutter. So gold's kind of nice. But yeah, change your settings up, get them to where you want them. As I run around, I'll be around 90 and 80. And when I get into team fights, it'll usually be 50 to, not 50, it'll be 60 to 70. It usually won't dip below 60. Um, and like I said, make your settings how you need them. Put them where you want them. Make sure you're running at a, a frame rate that isn't dipping you down too low. It is uh, not fun to have bad frames when playing League. So hopefully this has helped. Look into your settings, it can actually help you out quite a bit. I'll see all of you guys next time.